So just a really quick one today, um, different activities you can do with the watering can. We all have the watering cans at the pool and I imagine they probably don't get used very often, um, but they are great for all sorts of different things. So for the beginners at first, um, you could give one, them one and ask them to wash their hands. They love playing with the watering cans, so it's a great way to get them confident with the water on the face. Ask them to wash their cheek, because we're getting nearer <laughs> to the head. Um, you could ask them to wash their ears, so we do ears. And then I would say, and wash your hair, okay? They're not all gonna do it. They might just get to their cheek and stop. Um, but each week you'll see progress and eventually everybody will be pouring it over their heads. Once they're all confident with pouring it over their heads, you can do head, shoulders, knees and toes. So um, standing in the shallow end or standing on the ledge, um, on the step in the box that you start, wherever they are, um, we can sing head, shoulders, knees and toes. So obviously you just go to where you are. So head, shoulders, knees, let them put their toes up. Um, eyes and ears, they're still gonna do eyes, ears, they can do mouth, they can do nose, okay? So you can do the whole song. Um, you can do Incy Wincy Spider, so they can be holding the watering can. Incy Wincy Spider, kind of up the water spout. Down came the rain, get them to pour it over the head, or wash the spider out, okay? You can use that one. Um, I use it as a waterfall, so sometimes when they're swimming on their woggles, um, or they could be swimming just with their armbands, so who thinks they can swim through the waterfall? Obviously, if you've got a full class of six, we don't want to be swimming one at a time. So I might take a tunnel and a waterfall, or sometimes I'll do two waterfalls. So one in each hand. Um, and I'll say, scoop and kick. Can you swim through the waterfall at each side? And, or we can do scoop and kick, one swim through the orange tunnel, and one of you swim through the waterfall. I'll get them just to swim to these and then turn around and swim back to the side. Um, so you can still see everybody. Okay, then the next two swim that way, swim back. If they're having a horse race, they can all swim at the same time. Sometimes I'll be there with the watering can, so I'll say, oh, rain's gonna get there, or storm's coming, and I'll just trickle it over their head individually, each child as they're swimming back on their horse. Okay, if anybody can think of any others, I'd be interested to hear.